Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. I want to thank Bank Hometown for being our sponsor and helping make the show happen. Uh, very pleased to have with us in our second segment, David Ortendahl, who's the Executive De Director of Corporate Partnerships at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, WPI. You got David, it. welcome. Thank you. It's been a while since you've been here. Yes, uh, it was last year to talk about careers and the recruiting talent pipeline. Right, right. So before we maybe jump into the conference that's happening at WPI next month, maybe you could just talk a little bit about your role at Corporate par uh, Partnerships at WPI and why that's so important in terms of the kind of unique mission on the term of the types of education that, that WPI provides uh, students. Absolutely. So the Office of Corporate Partnerships is actually brand new this year. And so the mission for this new office is to really help out our corporate partners understand the ecosystem of partnering with the university. So we certainly have the least common denominator of workforce development and talent and recruiting. But certainly as an institution that has uh, strengths in research, we want to partner with our corporate uh, partners on product development. Uh, when it comes to corporate social responsibility, if there's philanthropic opportunities that those companies are looking for to get engaged with the community, we help uh, them navigate the campus ecosystem and then provide those opportunities for those businesses, which are also opportunities for our faculty and students. Yeah, I mean, obviously a whole array of majors uh, at, at WPI that, you know, research development, some of the, 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 the work uh, that the research that some of the faculty are doing, mm -hmm. really relevant to so many kind of innovative fields uh, of the economy. And uh, we say it pretty regularly here on the show and at the chamber, the single biggest issue that we hear from our members is access to talent and workforce. And that's where like a, a place like WPI is so important. Uh, I think it's the Washington Post comes out with an annual um, report of top 10 schools where the graduates, most recent graduates make the most amount of money, WPI is always in that list. So yeah. that kind of reinforces how much the employer community values WPI graduates and the work that's done with faculty. Yes, and in fact, right before I came here today, I was helping employer registration over at our career fair where we're gonna have 200 companies on campus today and probably over 2,000 students rolling through the doors uh, for that event. So it's a, always a great partnership event. That's, that's good stuff. Uh, and so particularly, there's a conference that's coming up uh, in, in October at WPI on October uh, 17th and 19th. Mm -hmm. Want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So uh, actually day one, that October 17th, is a career day for our high school partners to understand life sciences in mm -hmm. particular. So Nature is a publication uh, that does a lot in the sciences and they put on conferences and for the first time WPI and our partners at UMass Chan, Moderna, and Oneilam Pharmaceuticals yeah. are bringing that nature conference to Worcester. And so we're really excited about that. Uh, we're going to have future Nobel laureates, Nobel laureates here talking about uh, mRNA sciences, which uh, for folks know post COVID uh, was a lot of the therapy around the vaccines that right. were being distributed. and. Three of those vaccines that went out were crafted and made within 50 miles of Worcester. Right. And so it's really great to have the scientific community here uh, for that scientific conference, but also for high school students and college students to be able to interact and understand what our careers in the sciences on that first day, October 17th. Yeah, and that partnership with UMass Chan Medical School, I, I think, uh, is important too. I think it was Dr. Craig Mello, 2005, 2006, won the Nobel Prize, and some of that is around that our NAI research and that has then accelerated and, and was a basis on, on a lot of the, the, the research around the vaccine. And it reinforces something that's really important why having uh, WPI and UMass Chan host this. It's important and we at the chamber talk about a lot is the life sciences, biotech, biomanufacturing cluster that exists in Central Mass. That has been able to be established because of the work that WPI is doing because of the UMass Chan and then the workforce that's needed, CBRE, a national, internationally known real estate firm, recently came out with a study. Uh, Wor Worcester, Mass, had the 15th largest life sciences and biotech employment cluster in the country. Mm -hmm. WPI, uh, a major factor and uh, player in that. And then just this past week, Mass Bio talked about the growth in the life sciences industry, and particularly Worcester and Worcester County being one of the fastest growing pieces of that. So bringing in a, 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 the Nature Conference here, it's, it's a big coup. 
Yes, and we're really excited about it. And really the key driver behind this conference is Dean Jean King, uh, yeah. Dean of Arts and Sciences at WPI, uh, along with uh, her colleagues and, and uh, at Moderna and Olnilam Pharmaceuticals, who really were the ones that said, we're going to do this and, and make this opportunity happen. So I'm privileged to be part of that team, but I want to give all the credit to Dean Jean King, uh, who is really uh, the, the driver behind this initiative. Yeah, well, she's clearly been, you know, we we talk about the growth. I mean, there are some unsung heroes that have been uh, really kind of promoting the industry, can speak to the sector to say, here's why you need to have a presence in Worcester and Central Mass. Increasingly, companies are looking, you know, for opportunities, uh, but we've got to create more pad-ready sites. We've mm -hmm. got to create more lab space for them because we're completely built out at the moment, and it's a challenging time to build things given construction costs, given inf uh, uh, materials given yeah. kind of interest rates so we've got kind of a quandary right now we've got great schools we've got companies that want to kick the tires but we've got some cost challenges but um, I think the goal and I think this was coined from from WPI leadership Kendall Square to Kelly Square right that's and that, right and that this conference will be bringing people in that maybe have not been to Worcester and companies that have not been to Worcester to kind of maybe look at it at the Western Central Mass in a new way. Yes, and so not only are we bringing folks from Boston and Cambridge here into Worcester, but we're bringing folks internationally from a speaking uh, circuit standpoint yep. to come here to Worcester to be a part of this event. And uh, we're really excited about that. Registrations are still open if folks are interested in participating in the conference as well. And we're still looking for partners, especially local partners, to uh, hire some of that talent or connect with some of that talent on the career day or sponsor that event and to be a part of this international community that's coming right here to Worcester. And I'm glad you said that because, you know, in talking to some of the, the uh, owners of and, and, and managers and leaders of some of our life sciences and biotech companies and biomanufacturing, whether they're in the fledgling stage or, you know, a company like AbbVie, which we're very lucky to have yes. uh, here in, in the community, there are the research researchers, the scientists who do the room, but these companies create a whole other series of jobs. There's lab technicians, there's administrative support, there's uh, uh, facilities people, which mm -hmm. are really, really important in terms of the research and then preserving and making sure there's a sterile environment where this can happen. So there's a whole range of jobs and populations that can benefit from a growing life sciences and biotech cluster here. Absolutely. And to reinforce the, you know, we think of manufacturing and think of all of the ecosystems, the packaging, the shipping that are involved with that. The same is true with biomanufacturing. Right. Uh, all of those, uh, you know, supporting uh, businesses that these companies need to succeed, not only the talent, but the services and the um, opportunities to grow and ship and move their products uh, where it needs to go. Uh, and so you mentioned registrations open. To anyone, just maybe in where people can go, a sure. website, information? Sure. So if folks go to Nature Conferences, they'll see uh, an event coming up in October called Cracking the Code. And that is the one that's here uh, being hosted at WPI here in Worcester. And so we really encourage uh, those perhaps uh, students. There's an academic rate for students and faculty who might mm -hmm. be in some of our area schools who might be interested in the life sciences to please participate with us and, and join that at that academic rate. For those who might be in the life sciences uh, corporate realm, there's certainly opportunities for corporate participants to be a part of this as well, and we certainly encourage that. So go on na nature, nature conferences conference. and then crack the code is the conference. Cracking the code. You got All it. right, good stuff. Well, Dave Ortendahl, Corporate Partnerships at WPI, a, a new focus, uh, and understandably so. Conference October 17th. Thanks for being with us and appreciate all the great work that the the faculty, staff, and students do at WPI. Appreciate your time. Thank Good. you. Yeah. And we're going to come right back for our final segment of Chamber Exchange. Stay with us. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.